Alright guys, here I am. I'm actually here with a mistake. And I know you probably don't think I actually make mistakes, but I do. I'm unfortunately human just like every other person in the world. And here's what I did. Um, I used the manufacturer specs on the subwoofer to cut this hole and recess. Now for those of you who have watched my recess video already, you know that a rabbit bit is one of the ways that I like to do this. Unfortunately, the rabbit bit I use is a half inch and that's the biggest size I have and this is too small. So let me show you what I mean by that. We try to put the subwoofer in. It does not fit. So, what do we do and how do we fix it? Because making two small speaker holes is actually pretty common to do. So, uh, typically what people would want to do is actually restart or try to do this by hand with a jigsaw or something you could do that let's be honest it's not a very good idea um, especially if you're gonna rabbit it again because then it's gonna be jaggedy or if this is not smooth good circle you're done now obviously we can't use a circle jig again because we we're missing the middle piece so we need that middle piece to do a circle jig so what are we going to do well here's how we're gonna do this we're gonna take a router and we're gonna put a rabbit bit back on here but this is rabbit bit for a half inch for those of you who have seen my channel or for those of you who are patrons um, that have been able to get some behind the scenes looks and if you're not uh, seriously consider it because it, it really helps out this channel a lot there's a link in the description below to see how you can actually help out with that but these come with all kinds of different bearings and one of these the bigger bearings at the bottom is a 1 8 inch and so what we're going to do is we're going to change the bearing put the bigger one on and when we put the bigger one on we're just going to be able to cut an eighth inch off because that's this is not very far off this probably need about 10 and an eighth inches and i did 10 inches and so what we're going to do is the bearing has to sit flush against something so what we're going to do is we're going to take just an eighth of an inch with the bearing sitting at the very top of this off of here and then once we do that we're going to come back with a flush trim rider like this which will run across that bit that we just cut off and then it'll cut the rest of the hole off and then we'll switch back to this half inch bit this half inch rabbit and once we do the half inch rabbit then that will so our hole will already be an eighth of an inch smaller or bigger i should say a half an eighth inch bigger and this will then of course increase the this portion right here an eighth of an inch so now we should have this whole speaker an eighth of an inch better and it should fit so let's try it out So we've increased this by an eighth of an inch. Let's see if it'll fit. Oh my goodness, like a glove, literally. All right guys, I hope you actually learned something today. This is actually a really easy way to do this. Um, and all right guys, I hope you learned how to fix some of your mistakes. That way you're not going through as much material because it can be very expensive to buy new material. I know because I'm buying a lot of material for this channel to be able to bring these videos to you. 
And so if you want to help out this video, continue watching uh, the videos, liking and subscribing, that just make, and sharing them with your friends. It makes a world of difference. So please continue to do that. And for any of you that feel led, try to become one of my patrons. For as little as $12 a year, you can really help out this channel. So there's a link down below, and I'd really appreciate it if you, uh, if you wanted to do that. All right, thanks, guys. Double digit thousand.